For this decorated Vietnam veteran, there are two choices, and neither is a good one. When Ben Prismecki has to get to the VA Medical Center on North Pecos for an appointment, it's an all-day endeavor. He can take three different buses. And that takes uh, one and a half to two hours from here. If you miss the two, Craig 219 buses delayed or the DVX is delayed, you're screwed. Or he could take the 203 bus route, but their closest stop to the VA is several miles away. What would it be like for you to try to walk that? Well, in this type of weather, it would be a nightmare. So we wanted to see exactly what the 69-year-old goes through in order to get to his doctor's appointments. And we took the phrase, walk a mile in someone's shoes, pretty literally. He says this walk to get to the 203 bus stop usually takes him about 10 minutes. It took us about 15. After about a 15-minute walk, Ben's bus, the 203, would drop him off here, another four miles from the VA hospital. And he just wants to have the 203 route go all the way to the VA on North Pecos, so veterans would have easier access to both the VA Primary Care Center on Charleston and Lamb and the VA Medical Center on North Pecos. I've had a couple of appointments from, at the VA Medical Center, but I canceled them because it's just too much of a hassle to get to the VA Medical Center. And he believes many people would benefit from having a bus route that has direct service to the VA. This would be a big benefit to the Las Vegas veteran community.